Thank you for joining us today, and uh, this is part four of our teaching on the name of our Creator. And we're going to begin today in the book of Isaiah, or his, actually Isaiah's real name is Yasha Yahu, and, uh, which actually translated means uh, salvation is of Yahuwah, is, way, is what his actually name translated means, Yasha Yahu. And, uh, but that's another teaching, and I, I did want to just mention that to you. But, but Isaiah chapter 42, and let's look at verse, um, verse 8. And I'm going to read from the King James here in verse 8. It says, I am the Lord. That is my name. Now right here in this, these, this translation right here, and again, this is a translation. It's not the actual scriptures. So you understand that this is just the English wording of what was originally written in Hebrew. And what was really originally written in Hebrew where it says, I am the Lord, if you were reading or could read Hebrew, you'd see the, the text, it would actually read to you, I am Yahuwah. Because the word Lord, again, as we've already talked about in our previous uh, teachings, that the word Lord is a substitute word that's been been placed in in the, the, the actual Hebrew letters and the, the word uh, or the name Yahuwah has been removed or edited out of our English translations. So this is an inaccurate translation right here in verse 8 of your, of your Bible and uh, you can verify it yourself. You can actually uh, get a Strong's Concordance Look up the word Lord in your Strong's Concordance. It will give you the Hebrew number 3068. And actually you can go down and you can find in your concordance this particular verse because it will give you all the verses that this word appears in, in the scriptures. And then you'll find in Isaiah chapter 42, verse 8, that where it says the Lord, it actually says I am Yahuwah. And you might say, well, what difference does it make? Well, it makes a whole lot of difference because it's actually not only, like I said, inaccurate, it's, it's a lie, it's deceptive, it's a falsehood, it's a violation of the third commandment that we're not to take the name of Yahuwah in vain. And if you do a study on the word vain, actually what that word means is, one of the meanings of the word vain is, uh, is to falsify or to make it not, not important. Um, this is exactly what's happened here. They have falsified the name of the Creator by using the word Lord as His name. That's why most people today refer to the Creator as the Lord. I know I did. I've been a believer now for over 35 years, and I know that, that uh, I've addressed Him as the Lord, and most people call Him the Lord. And the only reason we do that is because in our translations, we have seen that word at least 7,000 times that's in the scriptures as the Lord, and it's not the Lord is what his name is. His name is Yahuwah. So because of that, that's why we've used that term so much. But, uh, you know, once you get an understanding of this, and once you get the foundation, and once you realize what's happened in our scriptures, and uh, then and only then will you begin to, hopefully that you'll want to change and uh, renew our mind. You know, the Bible talks about in the book of Romans that, or the book of Ephesians, that we're to renew our mind. We're to renew our mind. We're to, to think according to the, the scriptures and according to the to way Yahuwah would want us to think in line with his word. And so if the translation that you're using is inaccurate, <clears throat> that it only behooves you to change the way that you've been addressing our creator and calling him the Lord, which actually the Hebrew word for uh, for Lord is Baal, and you surely don't want to be addressing him in those terms when you understand um, that it's not his name for for one for once, and that it's also uh, the Hebrew word for Baal. And uh, so anyway, but right, going back to this verse here, he specifically says what his name is: "I am Yahuwah, That is my name." And you'll find this in other places in the scripture where he specifically says this, 
that he uses the word I am Yahuwah, that is my name. I know it's in, and I can't recall the, the exact verses, I don't have them written down here, but uh, there's, there's a number of instances where he specifically says that I am Yahuwah, and that is my name. Uh, the book of uh, uh, Amos, I believe, has, has it recorded that way. Also, again, here in the book of Isaiah, it's, it's listed that way. And, uh, but his name actually appears 7,000 times in the scriptures, but the, the reference where he declares like he's speaking, he declaring who is doing the, the speaking, he says, I am Yahuwah. I know it's in the book of uh, Jeremiah and other, other writings where he specifically says that. And uh, so anyway, it, and the reason that if you, as you begin to, 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 to gain the understanding of his name, you'll understand that he gave his name for a particular reason. <clears throat> Because his name ties in to salvation itself, uh, you'll find this in the, actually if you in the next chapter of Isaiah chapter 43, if you look at verse 11, it says, "I even I am the Lord, and I am Yahuwah, and beside me there is no savior." Now, you'll find this also where he t he specifically says throughout the uh, Tanakh. The Old Testament, that Yahuwah declared that he was Yasharel's savior or Israel's savior, but he also declared even in Isaiah chapter uh, 45, if you go there, that he is the savior of the whole world, not just to Yasharel or Israel, but he is the savior of the whole world if they would look and turn to him. This is found in Isaiah, right? Yahshua Yahu, uh, chapter 45, verse 22. It reads in my King James, it says, Look unto me and be saved, all ends of the earth. Now, see, that, that includes everyone. That just doesn't, doesn't include the nation of Israel or of Yasharel, but it's for, the, for everyone. Look unto him who's doing the speaking. If you read, actually, in this chapter here, it's Yahuwah doing the speaking here. So when it says, look unto me, you have to find out who the me is speaking of. Well, the me is Yahuwah is, is, is the one that's doing the talking here in the, in the previous verses. He says, look unto me and be saved all ends of the earth. For I am, and the English translation says, I am God and there's none else. Or I am the Almighty One and there's no one else besides Him. Hallelujah. He is our salvation. He is our Savior. That's why if you understand and get the basic understanding of through, and read through the, the Tanakh and the Old Testament, and you realize that Yahuwah declared throughout the Scriptures that He was our salvation. And that salvation is only found in His name. So when the Messiah showed up and He said that He had come in His Father's name, <laughs> hallelujah, it, it's Yahuwah on the scene in in. Yahusha, which is the Messiah, in Him He is the He is the physical manifestation of our Father Yahuwah on the earth, and He showed up in the flesh. In Him, in Him was life. In Him, in the beginning, you know, in in Him is all things. He exists in all things. He causes all things to exist. Hallelujah. And He is our salvation. He is our Savior. And uh, we're going to get into more of this salvation part in our next uh, few teachings. So stay tuned and turn back in, tune back in to listen to us and as we share these truths about Yahuwah and his name and how that ties in with salvation. Because if you recognize that when the Messiah showed up on the earth, that he came in his father's name, and his name declares, Yasha Yahu. Uh, uh, declared in the scriptures that we would, would know who he is by his name. So thank you for joining us today and we'll pick back up here on our next teaching which will be part five and uh, look forward to sharing some more truths with you on our next broadcast. Thank you. <laughs>